Welcome to the York Because and Sheriff's Office Crime Prevention Unit's presentation on sexting, a mistake that you can never take back. My name is Sergeant Sean Kikori Dearheart, and I would like to talk to you about the dangers of sexting. In a recent survey conducted by the National Campaign to Prevent Teen and Unplanned Pregnancy, one out of every five teens reported that they have electronically sent or posted online nude or semi-nude pictures and videos of themselves. With an estimated 90 to 95% of school kids carrying cell phones, this is a trend that we cannot afford to ignore. So what exactly is sexting? The definition of sexting is the act of sending sexually explicit messages, photos, or videos primarily between cell phones. In layman's terms, sex plus Texting equals sexting. There are three basic types of sexting. One, receiving nude or nearly nude images. Two, forwarding or posting nude or nearly nude images. And three, appearing in or creating such images. So why are teens sexting? Well, there are a combination of reasons. One reason is peer pressure. Girls typically feel pressured to take or send nude or nearly nude photos of themselves to their boyfriends and or girlfriends. Boys typically feel pressured to be the ones to collect the nude photos and videos that have been sent. Another reason is that some teens think it's no big deal and that everyone's doing it. Also, being a teen is difficult, and that is the beginning of the emergence of sexual feelings and experimentation. So some teens look to seek approval from their peers online through indulging in risky behavior. What exactly are the dangers of sexting? Unfortunately, once it is out there, you can never take it back, which means that you can end up in trouble with the law. Yes, actually facing criminal charges of manufacturing child pornography and or distributing child pornography. The one you sent the photo to can use it against you at a later time. The person that you sent the photo to could end up asking you to do something that you don't want to do. But when you tell them no, they threaten you with exposing your nude photo if you don't do what they want you to. This is called blackmail. It can also be shared and passed around. This is what law enforcement calls distributing. Especially if that person that you sent the photo to becomes an ex, and they want to embarrass you or make you mad or they just don't care who sees your photo. And of course, as we have repeated numerous times, you can never take it back. So this is for the parents out there. Talk to your teens and preteens and explain the dangers of sexting and the seriousness of it. Some parents may be afraid to talk to their kids or just not know how to. But it is so important that you open those lines of communication, even if your child doesn't want to. So here are some conversation starters. Ask if they know anyone at school who has sent or received nudes. Yes, use the word nudes, because that is what it's called in, in layman's terms. Ask them if it was their idea or do they think that they were pressured into doing it? Ask your teens if they have any questions about it or what they may have heard. It is so important to talk to them, even if they don't want to. It is also important to listen to them, not judge them, but just listen. Then help guide them to making good choices. So this question is on all parents' minds. What should you do if your child receives an unsolicited nude photo? Should you report it, delete it, report and delete it? As a parent, that is up to you. It is your choice on whether you should report it to law enforcement or not. The least you should do is at least delete the photo off your child's phone. Who would want their child walking around with a nude photo on their phone anyway? For more information about sexting and online safety, please feel free to visit any of the following websites below. 
They all contain educational information about online safety. We have gone over a lot of information, and on behalf of Sheriff J.D. Danny Digg, we'd like to thank you for taking your time today to watch this presentation on sexting, a mistake that you can never take back. So stay tuned for more educational and online training videos to come. So follow us on our social media sites. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, the York Procos and Sheriff's Office. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. And follow us on Twitter. And always feel free to visit the York Procos and Sheriff's Office webpage at www.yorkcounty.gov forward slash sheriff. Thank you.